I finished reading Same Time Next Summer by Annabelle Monahan, which was provided to me by NetGalley and Penguin Group in exchange for my honest review, so thank you to them for that opportunity. This book follows our main character, Samantha, a 30-year-old woman who lives in New York City. She's engaged to her boyfriend, Jack, and she goes with him to her parents' summer house to look for wedding venues. And while they're there, they run into her first boyfriend, Wyatt, her summer boyfriend, Wyatt, from when she was a teenager, who broke up with her and broke her heart. Is Samantha really with the guy that she's supposed to be with? Can she resolve the feelings that she has towards Wyatt, who broke up with her in a very traumatic circumstance? Or is she about to cheat on her fiance? Really is the question in this book. One, I'm not really a big fan of cheating, but I really wanted to read this book because I liked the author and her first book, Nora Goes Off Script, so much. So I was like, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna give this book a shot. The main issue I have with it, other than the flirtation with cheating as a plot device, is that all of the characters, the three main characters, Sam, Jack, and Wyatt, are all very bland. There's no flavor to them. There's nothing that any of them do or say that made me connect with them or care about them. Her family as supporting characters are a lot more interesting than the three main characters, which is never a good sign. This book really talks about letting go of your first love. How do you resolve those breakups that are completely out of your control? It also deals with forgiveness when there's a situation of cheating because that that is a part of this book. The temptation of cheating, what happens when you actually do cheat and the fallout from those things. This book was really quick and easy to get through it has very short chapters so i think a lot of people will enjoy that part i'm only going to give it three stars though i did like it i did appreciate the opportunity to review it but the fact that i couldn't really bring myself to care about the three main characters it, it just made it so i can't rate this any higher so i appreciate the opportunity to read and review it thank you so much again to netgalley and penguin but I probably won't be buying this one. It's three stars. It's, it's just okay.